Yeah. It's okay. It's okay. Liverpool fans enjoy the oh moment. My. Let's see. Let's see how far uh, they can go with the run. All right. Let's get you involved now. We're still talking sports right here. Channel TV Sports Center in Lagos, Nigeria. It's so much fun talking sports with you. I want you to be part of the show right now. This is the part where you take charge we want to hear from you we want to read from you we want you to not just watch the show come let us play for the love of the game on twitter what channel underscore sports facebook channels i think sports you can email us uh, sports this morning at channels tv.com there's so much to talk about you think we're going to ignore the nigeria professional football league we're still getting messages from fans of enugu rangers keep them coming Look, El Kanemi Warrior says they want to consolidate their position on the table and that they can spoil the party in Enugu. And Rangers fans are saying, yesterday, Mazi told us, forget about mathematics. We are already league champions. We like the fact that celebrating Rivers United mathematically can still win the league. Let's keep talking about the Nigeria Professional Football League till we get a champion the hashtag is mpfl it's that simple let's also uh, show some love to the flamingos they're already in jordan for the fifa on the 17 women's world cup we can only wish them all the best so let's use the hashtag flamingos while we talk to the girls out there to make sure that they give us a lovely independence gift because they will be playing brazil on the first of october let the love also be extended to Leeds golf legend Arnold Palmer, uh, who passed on at the age of 87 due to heart complications. We're getting loads of tributes from the golf golfing community. I would like to hear from you if you're a fan of golf or a fan of Arnold Palmer. This is your chance to talk on the program. We'll listen to you. We'll use the hashtag to say kick racism out of football. Yeah, that's what FIFA they're doing. You know, they're saying, look, despite the fact that we have you know, dissolve the anti-terrorism uh, tax force. We are still committed to making football, um, to promote football diversity and stamp our racism out of the sport. So let's use the hashtag uh, gets racism out of football for that subject. We will read your tweets right here on the program. We'll talk about Arnold Quarter and Table Tennis on the show this month. The UEFA Champions League is back. What do you think? Leicester will be hosting FC Porto. Tyro says historic moment for uh, the Foxes and their fans as they will be playing in the UEFA Champions League. It's an action pack for all those sports. There's so much to talk about. So that's it. The feedback mechanism for you to be part of the program. Tyro, let's quickly uh, come back home now. Uh, talk about the Flamingos. We keep talking about these girls and that's all we can do that's the only way we can support mm -hmm. um could you now the moment you get into the venue where you're competing reality just comes right in front of you i mean it's mm -hmm. almost um, game time yeah that's so i'm right. um, all the talk it's, it's time to you know put it in action mm -hmm. it's time to get on the field of play yeah. and then get all three points um against uh brazil brazil being in jordan uh, for a couple of weeks on uh, Nigeria finally uh, arrived now this is just information on the match mm. it's, uh, it's a group C match uh, between Nigeria and Brazil uh, that will play at the King Abdullah uh, the second international stadium and um, local time is um, 16 uh, o'clock uh, local time here yeah. so um, Austin yeah. Nigeria you know being, uh, been to all editions of the competition already it's gonna be our fifth you know, uh, appearance right. uh, at the Under-17 uh, Women's World Cup. Our uh, best playing performance um, was in 2010 in Trinidad and Tobago yep. and 2012 in Azerbaijan, mm -hmm. as well as in Costa Rica, where they reached uh, the uh, quarterfinals. Uh, so, yeah, it's time to build on that. It's time to build on that uh, uh, particular, those particular performances. Uh, also, in, apart from Brazil, yeah. we also play against England. England, mm. are very, uh, that one will be played at the Prince of Mohammed International Stadium and uh, 16 o'clock uh, local time. Playing against England, the English young ladies, the young lionesses, okay. uh, they've been to uh, the Under-17 World Cup just once. They've never won it before. The first appearance wow. was in 2008. Uh. Uh, they're very distant side. Uh, they didn't qualify uh, for uh, 2010, 2012, and 2014 edition. So they're eager to make up for lost time. I, I, I so love, you have to be very careful. I love the stats. Just quickly tell okay. me that the Flamingos will win that one. <laughs> Last Group C match uh, for the Flamingos. Uh, it's against uh, Korea DPR, North mm. Korea. You know, that's um, 
at the King Abdullah the second international stadium as well yeah. to 16 o'clock uh, local time this looks like it's gonna be the toughest you know test uh, for really? the Flamingos yeah because uh, they've been to, uh, to the uh, under 17 uh, World Cup four times that's uh, yeah. North Korea they've mm -hmm. won it once Nigeria's yeah. never won it before mm. you know on their way to qualifying for Jordan 2016 they scored 13 goals across five matches mm. uh, without you know conceding any that's how the Asian uh, qualifying tournament so they're very very mm. good side that's right. and um, our ladies our girls mm. you know have to be really ready uh, to take on uh, North Korea but like I said they play Brazil and England first of all okay. if they can get six points yeah. uh, from those two mm. games then the last game against uh, North Korea mm. uh, might just be uh, a formality well, I like when you when you make use of if <laughs> but let me tell you again that I know that the Flamingos will get out of Group C yeah I mean I, yeah, I, 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 I always tell you this thing that this thing has come to pass no, for, fair enough yeah. Yeah, I like your confidence uh -huh. I mean like I said Nigerians have got a great reputation when it comes to these uh, particular uh, tournaments and there's, right. there's experience in the side as well so there are a couple of players that have been to the last edition that will be going uh, to uh, the competition in Jordan as well too. so hopefully you know they can back on that experience you know to progress uh, from the group they have a flawless you know qualifying campaign in Africa they won four games you know 16 goals scored non considered so clearly they're the dominant force in Africa but like I said this is the world stage now um, the competition is a lot stiffer yeah. but um, the girls I, I believe they have what it takes you know to you know emerge uh, from this group yeah you and, believe um, I don't believe I know I yeah. know that they will get out of that group. That sounds okay. I said, like, I said this thing to you guys, and you just, yeah. I, I said it with confidence that we'll get out of the Olympic group and then go all the way, and then we got a medal. Uh, uh, let's get out of this group, and I'll tell you uh, what Nigeria is going to do with that one. So that's it. The Flamingos are already in Jordan. We love it. Can call Coach Bala and Q and his girls. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see what they can do with this one. But let's keep rooting for not just the Flamingos women's football uh, from now to the end of the year will be very very busy we're also monitoring the four corners and their preparations for uh, the fifa on the 20 women's world cup they're going to papua new guinea the, the super falcons the big girls they'll be going to cameroon for the african uh, women's cup of nations so it's very busy for women's football i think oh, wow also busy for the super eagles i was just gonna tell the nfs to just shift total attention no. <laughs> It's a busy year yeah. for all the national mm, teams. For yeah, so mm. yeah, they have their hands obviously on a very, very full plate uh, for uh, the NFL. That's um, right. Yeah, so let's see. Let's we'll see. see. It we'll tells see. us a lot of work for uh, the Nigerian Football Federation, of course, our players. All the best to uh, Nigerian football. Let's get on with the show now. Play some table tennis. I or lately when we talk about Arnold Quadri, uh, you just have to smile because we watched this guy grow. In 2014, just before he won the IWTF uh, Star Player of the Year, that was yeah. in 2014, he shot up the rankings. I remember I wanted something to number 30 in the world. And that was because... He went to the ITTF World Cup in Germany and, yeah. you know, created some upsets against the big guys. Arnold Quadri in 2016 is the world's number 25th, number 25th player, yeah? And that just tells you that with hard work and determination, you can get there. He's going to the ITTF World Cup again and he says, look, I don't care if the best, the best, the big players are there. Yeah. I'm not under any form of pressure. That's the spirit. I mean, yeah. No doubt. Uh, he mm. says he's not under pressure, but believe me, inside of him, he knows that there's a bit of pressure on him as Africa's best. Best, that's you right. Know? So mm. he, he will be going into that uh, competition with a lot of expectations. People want to see him you know, improve on you know, his uh, incredible performance at the Olympics uh, where he got to the uh, quarterfinals and beat uh, you know, players that are seated uh, you know, well ahead of him. So mm. uh, I'm sure as, um, his fans uh, definitely that's will right. want him to do a lot mm. more and probably get to another quarterfinals or even a semifinals. So yeah, I understand what you're saying. He's just trying to take all the pressure it's away. Him. But there's real pressure on Arnold Quadri. <laughs> well, he has you words for you. <laughs> Arnold Quadri says, I am not under any kind of pressure to play in Germany again because I'm now getting used to playing under pressure. And as a matter of fact, I am going to Germany to enjoy myself without any kind of pressure. So see pressure, pressure everywhere. Yeah. So he doesn't feel it. Statistics shows showed that I am not one of the favorites for the podium finish, 
But similarly, I am not really going to be playing without com confidence, as I always believe strongly in my capability. That's just what you need. The philosophy of optimism, mm. just believe in yourself. Take self-confidence right there. If you meet Zhang Ji, can just enjoy yourself if you win. We'll talk about it. If you don't, you say, well, he wasn't expected to beat Exactly. GK. Yeah, you're not mm. expected to beat him anyways. And mm. just like when he took on uh, Marlon and you know, he lost. And um, when he lost, I don't think there was a lot of people out there, uh. you know, um, going too crazy like yeah why should have lost to Marlon <laughs> so the was ex of one. exactly was expected mm. uh, but he didn't take anything away from his um, uh, performance in Rio uh, same yeah. you know mentality is taken into this uh, competition in mm. Dusseldorf and um, hopefully who knows it might just be um, a, a, a very good hunting ground for him as well like I said earlier he shot into limelight mm -hmm. um, at the World Cup in 2014 Two years after after he's going there again, a better player, you know, more experienced, more exposed. That's and, right. Um, the sky is the limit. Awesome. That's what it is. Sky That's is the what limit. it is, Tayo. And you mentioned the experience. And in Nigerian table tennis, when you just say the word experience, Shagun Toriola that pops up. Mind, That's yeah. right. Seven-time Olympian Shagun Toriola uh, is expected to guide Aaron Okwadri during the tournament. And the president of the Nigerian Table Tennis Federation, uh, Waido Shudi, believes Toriola's experience will be helpful Surely. to Quadri. In Germany, no they are beginning to have this synergy. Of course. Quadri is comfortable when he turns around and assists Toriola. Toriola. And Toriola, one of the reasons he's not retiring is the Quadri. <laughs> Because squad wants to run. Yeah, yeah, doesn't want him to go just yet. I mean, that experience, you know, um, it's very, uh, will be very key at crucial uh, periods in the game. Austin, the draw will hold you know, right. on Friday, uh, mm -hmm. September uh, the 30th. Wow. And uh, matches will start on October uh, the 1st. So, Ooh. yeah, I can't wait for several. And, uh, yeah. Busy, busy sporting calendar. October the 1st, the the, the flamingos will be busy. Oh, what a busy. And a what a busy end busy of the, the year. I know. Busy, busy. They just want us to keep talking about it. It's okay. We'll keep talking about it. Let's just wish Aaron Quadri again all the best. Yeah. Aaron has done all he can for table tennis in Nigeria. Yeah, definitely. All the best, Aaron Quadri. Austin mm. Champions League um, is back. That's right. And um, when we come back, uh, mm. we're going to quick break. When we come back, we will get to listen to our Leicester City manager, um, Claudio Ranieri. He's been speaking ahead of tonight's uh, game uh, against um, Porto. Porto, yeah.